Conservatives at Westminster. But the frontrunner to succeed him is not expected to do the same. Hello! Bob McCartney, Big Bob, a successful QC and the dominant personality in this by-election. He's standing as an independent unionist, but with the backing of Ian Paisley's party. He stood here before and lost, and whether you love him or hate him, seems this time to be one of the crucial factors. Mr McCartney is a strong personality, but I think that's what we need for Ulster unionism at the present time. Mr Molyneux was awarded a prize for keeping silent in Westminster at a time of constitutional crisis. We need someone who is forceful, someone who is going to articulate the cause of the union. Jim Molyneux's party picked a relatively unknown candidate, Alan McFarland, a former army officer. The Ulster Unionists are arguing for the team ticket against the Maverick. The need for party politics, team politics, and not uh, anything to do with individuals and how they might claim to want to light a fire that will sweep across Ulster. We've had far too many fires. Okay. Lovely. 33, probably 37 alliance. The Alliance Party fancies its chances. Its runner is former leader Sir Oliver Napier. It's the only party which claims cross-community support. And while it's done well in local government polls, it's never cracked the big one with North Down voters. They're basking in the afterglow of the ceasefire, but they're beginning to become a little bit wary, and rightly so, that it will not survive unless it is built upon. And that means negotiations, it means a political settlement, it means moving forward. And that, of course, is what Oliver Napier and the Alliance Party are about. This constituency, were it anywhere else in the UK, would be natural Tory country, Northern Ireland's so-called Gold Coast. The Conservatives had a real chance here at the last general election, but lost. Was that their best chance? The bubble hasn't burst with the Conservative Party. The Conservative Party is the most successful party in the United Kingdom. Uh, we'll be contesting this election. We're going to win. And uh, people of Northern Ireland will see what one of the national parties fighting for Ulster can really do for them. The nature of the constituency means the result won't say much about the peace process, but it will produce a new Northern Ireland MP, only the fifth time that's happened since 1983. Dennis Murray, BBC News, North Down. Eight candidates are standing in the North Down by-election. The polls will open as usual at 7 o'clock on Thursday morning and the result is expected to be declared in the early hours of Friday.